Let them know that they are loved. I want you guys to put that in the comments. I am loved and you are loved just the same. That's if you truly believe this. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapture's house. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see, I want to see what's the energy surrounding my Virgos. I want to see what's going on with my Virgos, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading. Okay. All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with my Virgo spirit. Show me. So we have the rainbow, a new way forward. A new way forward. It says sweet relief. A new beginning, new beginnings itself, a new way forward. So you have a new beginning here. This, this new beginning may have not started the way that you wanted it to. This new beginning may have not, may have come out of a very unexpected situation, a very unexpected turn of events here is what I'm getting. So you've experienced something here and this is a very unexpected turn of events. But the positive in this is the fact that you have new beginnings. You have a new way forward. You may have been in a situation or you may have been dealing with something or someone and you didn't know how to move forward. You know, someone here, you could have been in a very sticky situation, but there's some type of unexpected turn of events here that is now opening up a new way forward. You guys are embracing some type of sweet relief versus something very sorrowful. You know, this is actually telling me like this, something is turning out to be a blessing, a blessing in disguise. So there's something here in your life that is actually turning out to be a blessing, a blessing here in disguise. You have this new beginning here. And I feel like it's something unexpected. You didn't expect someone here. It's like you didn't expect it to be so good. You didn't expect it to turn out the way it turned out. But it, everything's working in your favor right now. Present moment. Things are things are coming into alignment. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. Oh, wow. We have the lovers here. So there's a a union, a relationship, a connection here. The lovers, Gemini energy. It says union, connection, relationship. Again, alignment. You know, alignment, openness, romance, harmony, choices, duality, and love. This is all about love. You have a new way forward, a new opportunity, a new relationship for some of you guys. But I also get if this is not a relationship, this is God's grace. If this is not a relationship, this is a blessing. This is God's grace. This is love. This is you feeling love. This is you knowing that you are loved. This is you feeling again that you're loved. Your angels loves you. God loves you. Allah loves you. You know, your ancestors love you. You feel there's some type of blessing here, a blessing in disguise. And you now feel loved. So now this love may come from human form, but there's also, there's a love spiritually. There's a lot of love spiritually here. 
Show me spirit. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. Ooh, so we have summer solstice and we have the four of wands. It says a few weeks, let go of control, celebrate life, have fun here. So this has been a roller coaster of a ride of a summer. This is like, this has been a roller coaster of a ride of a summer. Some of you guys, there's a relationship here that you've entered over the summer. There's either a relationship here or you truly have received some type of blessing here over this past summer, over the summer, you know, talks about you guys letting go of control is the pinnacle of success. You've reached something, you've reached some sense of success here, success in overcoming a situation. There's been some type of unexpected success here, some type of unexpected win I keep getting like you getting over something that you never expected it would be so good. You getting over something that you never expected that you would get over a blessing. Someone here, you close the door on one relationship and you enter into a whole nother relationship here. It talks about celebrating life. You guys have experienced such a beautiful summer here. You guys have had fun. It's a refreshing energy because why do I, I feel like it's a refreshing energy because you would have never thought you would have reached this pinnacle of life. There is a pinnacle that you have reached this summer. This is the pinnacle that you are reaching right now, present moment. You figured out a new way forward. You have new beginnings here. There is hope in that. There's truly hope in that. Absolutely beautiful energy. Absolutely beautiful energy. If this is true, please put this is true in the comments. If this is you, if this resonates with you, please put a heart in the comments. And then we have the four of wands. Celebrating a union, community support. You, There's people in your life that actually showed up and showed out for you. And now this could be friends. This could be your chosen group of individuals. You know, this could be family. You know, this could be loved ones. This could be somebody very specific. But this is telling me you guys have support. You feel the love. It says united lover returns. Some of you guys, you re there's a reunion here, a reconciliation with someone that you love greatly. You've experienced a reunion here with someone that you love greatly. Homecoming parties, celebrations, and weddings. You have a lot of weddings here. A lot of celebration here. A lot to celebrate. A lot to celebrate here. Oh, this has been some beautiful energy coming through for you guys. You, some of you guys, you've experienced somebody from your past coming back in. Some, some of you guys, you've, you've experienced someone coming home and you're their home. It has brought you so much joy. Someone here, you could have actually gotten married or you may have gotten a proposal. The magician. It says the pre-manifest. Plan, establish a clear vision. Your spirit guides are wanting you to plan to get to get to get your affairs in order. It's showing me your thoughts are becoming things. You're at the point right now, present moment, Gemini Virgo energy. You may have not experienced a true breakthrough, but you're at a very pinnacle point in your life. And right now, present moment, your spirit guides are wanting you to plan and establish a clear vision. Because your thoughts are becoming things or your thoughts will. And the thing about it is your thoughts, whether it be positive or negative, they're in the formation of becoming some type of reality. And I feel like your spirit guides are wanting you to get organized, plan, see clearly what it is that you want so that you can have it. So that you can have it here. Because what I'm seeing here is that the magician is coming out in the resistance here. 
You know, it also talks about manipulation. This, this is, this is telling me like, you know, whatever you do moving forward, do it with love. Remember your why. Do it with love and remember your why here. Even if someone does you wrong, even if you feel like something is unfair, your spirit guides wants you to remember that your thoughts become things here. If, so the negative thoughts become real. Even if your negative thoughts towards someone else or something else, it becomes your reality. So your spirit guides are wanting you to establish a clear vision of what it is that you want so that you can have it now. But also remember that your thoughts become things. So if you're not in a good headspace, if you're upset, if you're coming from a place of anger or grief or loss or revenge, or if you're holding a grudge, you're manifesting those negative energies into your life. Because the magician has all the power. But the magician can choose to use their power for good and or bad. But there's karma here. There's karma attached to this energy. So your spirit guides want you to remember. Beautiful energy though. Show me, show me what's going on with my Virgo spirit. So we have five of swords. Not by the rules. Are you playing by the rules? Or are you not playing by the rules? You see, this is the hostility. Do you feel defeated? Is there conflict? Self-sacrificing. There's a plot twist and abusive. Hmm. Some of you guys, this could be, this could be you. Some of you guys, this could be somebody that's in your energy. There's, there's an energy here of wanting to feel, wanting someone to feel, I don't know why I just got wanting someone to feel my love. And that's not, this is not a form of love. This is not true love. The manipulation, the hostility, the conflict. Are you sacrificing your happiness for to gain someone else's love? Someone here right now, present moment, you may be in this type of situation where you're sacrificing yourself, yourself, your dignity, your, your peace of mind. Sacrificing your peace of mind to please someone else you know this somebody here you know that's your new way forward you're playing nice here your new way forward is playing nice show me more spirit show me what's going on with my virgos oh wow okay So we have the queen of coins, tending to yourself, perfectionist, manipu manipulative, ambitious, exacting, possessive, work, work home balance, imbalance, self-focused, shallow, and jealousy. So whether this be you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or whether this be another earth sign here, Someone that's very shallow and focused on self. You know, don't allow someone to, if this is you, don't allow someone to come in and steal your joy. Because all of this is telling me that, that there's someone here that has come in to steal your joy. And if this is not you, this is someone that you're dealing with. If this is not you, this is someone here that you're dealing with. Then we have the hermit here, Virgo energy, paralyzed by fear. Are you experiencing this right now, present moment? Look at that dark to light. It says it's time, act now. There's a fresh start here. 
spring. So now, from now into spring, there needs to be some changes if this is you. If this is you and you're playing things safe, you're allowing someone to manipulate you, you're sacrificing your own happiness because you want to bring in some type of work home balance, walking on eggshells here. Somebody's walking on eggshells. The hermit Virgo energy could be a Gemini Virgo. I'm dealing with a group of Virgos here. You're walking on eggshells here. Now this could be in your work or this could be in your home. But you're walking on eggshells here and your spirit guides are telling you, you have time. You need to take the time to get your affairs in order. To establish a clear vision because your thoughts are becoming a reality here. And if it's not positive, you're living in your and you're living, you're, li you're being paralyzed by fear here. It says antisocial in isolation. Paranoia, restrictive, powerlessness, loneliness. Hmm. Because you're in a situation here and the plot twist, you may feel defeated. There's conflict here. Is this internal? What's bringing this on? What has brought this on? Because there's some internal conflict here. I feel like I'm dealing with a group of Virgos here. This is, this is, this is two different energies. This is two different energies here. And again, the power is within you. You can choose your path. You can choose how your day is going to go. You could be on the positive side of this, or you can be on the negative side of this. There's an engulf feeling here are you are you being engulfed with love and hope or are you being engulfed with fear and manipulation let me know in the comments are you moving forward fearlessly or are you moving forward hopelessly this is such an energy this is two different energies but spirit is still saying that you can change this. Spirit is still saying that you can change this. Show me the lovers for my Virgos. Show me the lovers. I'm dealing with two groups of Virgos here. And if it's the same Virgo, that means you're dealing with somebody here. That's going through some things. If this is all your story, this is telling me that you're on one side of this and you're dealing with somebody that's going through some things. And if I'm and, and the mass majority of you guys, I feel like I'm dealing with two different Virgos. It says your spirit guide can lead you, but can't do it for you. See that your spirit guides can lead you, but they can't do it for you. So if you want your circumstances to change, you have to change. There's a door that is open. If you see the door that's open, please put, I see it. If, if you see the opportunity forward, please put, I see it. I want you guys to put that in the comments because this is sending your affirmations out into the universe. You know, your thoughts become your reality. If you feel that you're loved, please put, I am loved. Because that is sending again, those affirmations out into the universe, because I am dealing with two groups of Virgos here. And it's, it clearly says your spirit guides can lead you, but they can't do it for you. No one can make you happy but yourself. No one can make you feel fulfilled but yourself. No one can bring change in your life but yourself. 
Nothing can truly happen to you unless you allow it. And yes, there's some things that can happen that's unfair. That's that's totally separate. But when I say that, it's like things happen to us every single day of the week. We choose how we allow it to affect us. We choose how we react to it, how we respond to it. That's our free will. There's some things that's outside of our control, but our free will. You see, that's the, that's the beauty of tarot. The free will is still in your hands. That's the beauty in oracles. Again, the free will is still in your hands. So you choose today, right now, you choose, am I going to move fearlessly or am I moving hopelessly? Am I moving forward with love and knowing that I am loved? Or am I going to stay in this defeated, this is a defeated mindset. Absolutely defeated mindset. Show me the magician for my Virgos. It says, carry the torch for others to see, wake up the world. Hmm. You guys got this the other day. Your spirit guides are telling you to carry the torch for others to see, wake up with, wake up the world here. And your spirit guides are wanting you to see a clear vision. The power is in your hands. You are the magician as I see 21, 21 on the clock. There is a new way forward. It starts with you though. So if you're dealing with somebody here and they're going through some things, you can choose how you respond to this. You can choose because then you, you yourself, that's your, that's your calling. That's your job. Your spirit guides are telling you this is your job. Your job is to carry the torch for others to see. Now this could be within your work. This could be within your family. This could be within society. You know, it's your job to wake up the world. If you truly feel this to be true, let me know this in the comments. Let me know this in the comments. You know, I do this to send you guys off feeling strong enough to take on the day. You know, there is, look how that, some sweet relief here. There is some new beginnings here. And there is a new way forward. Now, you may need to hear this or there may be somebody in your life that you're going to come upon today and you, you need to let them know that they are loved. I want you guys to put that in the comments. Send this message out to your fellow Virgos that's watching as well. Let them know that they are loved. I want you guys to put that in the comments. I am loved and you are loved just the same. That's if you truly believe this. That's if you truly, truly believe this. You are loved. All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not. Until next time. Bye, guys.